Remember, you decide the fate of your characters. All of them can die. So, be careful. Thank you for the advice and what up everyone, this is Tense Reaper back for another game of Detroit Becomes Human. The last time we had left off is Will's investigating the crime scene with Connor where we actually find the person who actually killed the guy in the house which turned up a guy would have turned up to be an android. He said he was defending himself. Meanwhile, and with Kara, she had a situation with her daughter. Dad it was very abusive and he was going to take her frustration on her because things wasn't going right. And Kara actually stepped in and did her best to defend them off and now she and Alice have ran off, ran away from him. And so we'll see where that story will lead. I hope your day went well. I hope the rest of this goes well and we will continue on this new gameplay of Detroit Becomes Human. Alright, let's take him to where he needs to go. Let's go to the wrong. Not, not that way. Scotch? Neat as usual? Absolutely. Okay, but you know what your doctor would say. Yeah, well, he can kiss my ass. I'm gonna <laughs> have to choose my own medication. That's what I'm talking about. I like him, man. Hey, screw the doctor. Oh, shake. Shake. Shake this. Turn it. There you go. Turn that scotch. Did you leave the light on in the studio? No, no, I'm sure I didn't. Call the police. All right. Detroit Police, what's your emergency? This is Carl Manfred's android at 8941 Lafayette Avenue. We've just returned home and found the lights on. Somebody broken our place. Yeah, somebody broken our place. Let's go check it out. Ten and one, that's their son. I know it. I bet it's him. Yep. Not surprised, it's the sun. Leo! What are you doing? You refuse to help me, so I'm helping myself. Oh, so you it's just crazy what sit. some people pay for this shit. Don't touch them. Look, they're all gonna be mine sooner or later anyway. Just think of it as a down payment on my inheritance. Yeah, he... Marcus, get him away from there. Get him out of here. Yeah, we're gonna just take care of business right now. Um reason, order. That's reason with this punk. Reasonable. This isn't gonna get you anywhere. All you ever do is tell me to go away. What's wrong, Dad? Not good enough for you? Not perfect like this fucking thing. That's enough. Get out right now. What makes it so special Ooh. anyway, huh? What's it got that I don't? Leave him alone. Oh, how dare you push your dad like that? Marcus, don't defend yourself. You hear me? Don't do anything. Go ahead, hit me. What you waiting for? Think you're a man? Act like one. Oh no. It doesn't matter too much of a pussy. Stop it, Leo. Stop it. Just scared to fight back, you fucking bitch. Oh no. Yeah, yeah, we got. Yeah, we got to. We got to, man. Person, you're just a fucking piece of plastic. No, Leo, leave him alone. No. I'm gonna destroy you. And I'll just be me and my dad. I'm gonna tear you apart, and nobody's gonna give a shit anymore because you're nothing. You hear me? You're nothing. Oh no. Oh man. Carl, no. Oh, Carl. Oh. He was a fragile machine. Carl, don't leave, okay? Please don't go. Don't leave. Remember, Marcus. Don't let anybody tell you who you are. No. No. Dad. No. Please. 
This is all your fault. What would happen if it weren't for you? The android. Who's the android? What? Oh, come on. Oh, that's, that's ridiculous, man. I mean, I ain't kill that dude, man. But he just mad because he won't get that money. Man, screw him. We're going to get him back. Why'd you kill him? What happened before you took that knife? How long were you in the attic? You gonna say something? Why don't you even try to run away? He ain't saying nothing. Come on, bro. You're not looking good here. Say something, goddammit! I'm saying. I mean, you stabbed the man like thirty, like thirty times, man. Fuck it, I'm out of here. And now you know you won't say nothing about it. Come on, man, you make you look guilty. Make yourself look bad. We're wasting our time interrogating a machine. We'll get nothing out of it. You always try roughing it up a little. It ain't gonna work. After all, it's not human. Androids don't feel pain. You would only damage it, and that wouldn't make it talk. Deviants also have a tendency to self-destruct when they're in stressful situations. Okay, smartass. What should we do then? I could try questioning it. <laughs> oh, hey, man. We have to lose. Yeah, man. Go ahead. Suspect's all yours. Can't let that other guy know. He'll probably would have beat that thing if that child was self-destruct on everybody. Alright, let's see. Let's give it a try. Maybe he might say something. Android to Android. Alright. Yeah. Yeah, you ain't looking too good. You gotta say something, man. Alright. Let's see what can we do with you. First, we're going to analyze your behind. Let's see. Uh, okay. Okay, model HK four hundred. You got a cigarette burns. I don't know. I'm not sure the android smoke though, but it looks like somebody might have burned you. Oh, broke your hand because you got hit by a bat. That makes sense. Yeah, you definitely in that fight. So last but not least, you. Reach for optimal stress reserve. Let's try. My name is Connor. What about you? What's your name? Too low. Um, okay, let's try, let's try something a little different. Let's try... Here. I detect an instability in your program. It can trigger an unpleasant feeling. Like fear in humans. Uh, let's try it late. You're accused of murder. You know you're not allowed to endanger human life under any circumstances. Do you have anything to say in your defense? Uh, that's threat. Man, that's threat this day, man. You don't seem to understand the situation. You killed a human. They'll tear you apart if you don't say something. Let's see. If you won't talk, I'm going to have to probe your memory. No! No, please don't do that. What? What are they 
they gonna do to me? They're gonna destroy me, aren't they? Let's lie to them. Let's lie. No. I think they just want to understand. They know your master abused you. It wasn't your fault. That's too low. We gotta crank it up a little bit. Why did you tell him you found me? Why couldn't you just have left me there? I was programmed to hunt deviants like you. I just accomplished my mission. I don't want to die. Then talk to me. I... I can't. Choose approach. Let's see. Pressure. Twenty-eight stab wounds. You didn't want to leave him a chance, huh? Did you feel anger? Hate? All right. All right. Everything is going to be okay. You're a machine you were designed to obey, so obey! Tell me what happened. Okay then, don't talk. What do I care after all? I mean, I'm not the one accused of murder, right? If you remain silent, there's nothing I can do to help you. They're gonna shut you down for good. You'll be dead. Do you hear me? Dead. Yeah, man. tortured me every day oh he do speaks I did whatever he told me but there was always something wrong then one day he took a bat and started hitting me why what did you do that for for the first time I felt scared scared he might Destroy me, scared I might die. So I grabbed a knife and I stabbed him in the stomach. Yes, yeah, you definitely did that. I felt better. I know you did. So I stabbed him again. You seriously? And again. Really? Until he collapsed. And then you went to work. Why did you hide in the attic, instead of running away? I didn't know what to do. For the first time, there was no one there to tell me. I was scared. So I hid. Trigger. When did you start feeling emotion? Before he used to beat me and I never said anything. realized it wasn't fair okay all right I felt anger hatred and then I knew what I had to do okay he's gonna take him out uh put it ready why did you write I am alive on the wall he used to tell me I was nothing that I was just a piece of plastic. Well, I heard that before. I had to write it. To tell him he was wrong. The sculpture in the bathroom. You made it, right? What does it represent? It's an offering. An offering so I'll be saved. Okay, you're a religion person? Okay. Uh, let's go over there. Sculpture was an offering. An offering to whom? To RA9. Who is RA9? Only RA9 can save us. RA9. 
It was written on the bathroom wall. What does it mean? The day shall come when we will no longer be slaves. Uh, oh, that's no interesting. Friends. Okay. No more humiliation. We will be the masters. Oh, so that's... RA-9. Who is RA-9? All right. I appreciate your information, man. I mean, you did a real good job confessing us. Either we have to press you a little bit. You have to say, pressure bust the pipe. Chris, lock it up. All right, let's go. Leave me alone. Don't touch me. What the fuck are you doing? You shouldn't touch it. It'll self-destruct if it feels threatened. Stay out of this, got it? The fucking Andrew's gonna tell me what to do. I you don't understand. If it self-destructs, we won't get anything out of it. I told you to shut your fucking mouth. Oh, look at it, man. You ain't gonna be Chris, sitting there telling me what to do. What? I'm trying. I can't let you do that. Leave it alone now. I warned you, motherfucker. Oh, oh, really? That's enough. Mind your own business, Hank. I said that's enough. Oh, we're gonna have we're gonna have a shootout here. You're not gonna get away with it this time. I can see me and you fighting. Everything is all right. It's over now. Nobody's gonna hurt you. Mm. Please, don't touch it. Let it follow you out of the room, and it won't cause any trouble. Mm. The truth is inside. Um. More information, I appreciate that. That's a good touching moment right there. Oh, we're gonna get a professor out of you. Alright, let's keep it going. Uh, this gameplay has been really good so far, yeah. Three different stories. And I'm still kinda upset by Marcus. I mean, that sucker just. His son just threw me on the bus and said Android did then they shot me man like I did something. And he didn't want to instigate the whole game trying to look for money, but I get the bullet. Poor Alice, she going through it all. We can add some shelter. Do you know if there's any other place we could spend the night? I have no idea. She's gonna have to leave. Oh, seriously. Alright. Worth to try asking.
All right, come on, Alice. Everything be all right. Come on, Alice. We've got to hurry. Yeah. This is a real sad story here. Abusive dad trying to beat the little girl for nothing because of his issues. Oh. Alright, let's see. Oh, what's this? Oh, hold on. Over 24 7, can't sleep here. Okay. Oh, right there. Oh, that's close. Okay. Very uncomfortable but discreet. We have this. Uncomfortable but safe. How to get in. And we have. Comfortable but not discreet. We'll need money. We don't have no money. Won't open for morning. So. Okay. Hey, Ellis, where you going? Oh, you want to walk by yourself? Okay. 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 Let's talk to us. Ellis, you're freezing cold. I'm okay. I'm not so cold. You look lost. We have nowhere to go. I know someone who can help you. But that's on the other side of town. Man, that's far as heck, man. Need a place for tonight. Look, I ain't about to try to wear the other side of town. That's not gonna happen. At least for tonight. Let's see. It looks abandoned. Uh, let's break it. Stand back, Alice. Yeah. find us here. I don't know about that. I don't want to sleep in there. Can't we find a better place? Yeah, we'll keep searching. Okay. We'll find somewhere better. Alright, let's keep searching. See what else we got. Oh my god. Okay. Let's see, maybe we can try that old abandoned house. If there's a way to get in there, I mean, that would be a good idea. I mean, it's, hey, it's about the safest one out of all of them, though. So. Ah, it was something. Alright, let's see, go back. Go. Oh, okay. We can look here. An abandoned house. At least we'd be out of the rain. Yeah, that's it. Kara, I don't like this place. Oh my god. I know. But it's just for one night, and no one will look for us here. Can cut the face with wire cutter.
Huh? Hell, Bert. Are you alright? Yes, it's just a scratch. Be careful. Not R2. L2. Don't worry, we're just having a look. Dang it. Alice? Okay. Alice! The hell she went? Ooh. Wait, what are you doing? Visitors. Ralph doesn't like visitors, they're nasty. They may hurt Ralph. Look, I'm an android too. The hell? You have nothing to be afraid of. Hmm. All we want is a place to spend the night. Visitors are dangerous. Are you serious? Look. What they did to Ralph. Oh man, I'm not sure. Listen, we're going to stay here tonight. We'll be gone first thing tomorrow. You must excuse Ralph. Ralph still finds it difficult to control himself. Sometimes his fear makes him do things he regrets. Oh, hell no, no. Ralph uh. has seen some hard times. He's just so scared the humans will get him again. You can stay if you want. Ralph won't hurt you. I don't know, man. I think we better go. Come on, Alice. Yeah, I don't trust you, man. Hell no. Let's see. Yeah, let's go ahead and sleep in the car. I mean... Yeah, let's go to sleep in the car, because at this point, we'd run out of options. Yeah, let's go, let's go to sleep in the car. Oh, man. I ain't about to spend the night that dude with that night. He's crazy here. Yeah, let's go in the car, I man. I don't care. We just need to lay down. I ain't be water all night. No, we stay. We're better off staying, Alice. The important thing is for us to be safe. And it's just for tonight. Yeah. I ain't about to waste my time firing for an hours. Wanna take the man clothes, can't do that, Alice. They can't be stealing. Why didn't he ever love me? Why was he always so upset with me? All I wanted was a life like other girls. Maybe I did something wrong. You did nothing wrong. Maybe I wasn't good enough. That's why he was always so angry. I just wanted us to be a family. I just 
just wanted him to love me. Why can't we just be happy? I don't know, Alice. You'll never leave me, right? I promise you'll never go. Yeah, we ain't going nowhere. I promise. Will we be together forever? Yeah, sure. Of course. Forever. Uh, you're the only friend I got, be honest with you. This is so sad. Hey, car works. Oh uh, man, we tried so many options in this stage. We tried to uh, go to the band house, some freak robot was there. I hey, definitely want to stay with him. We want to try to go to the cars. Yeah, I was like, no, I don't want to get in the car, but we end up getting in the car. Anyway, that's our best option. Then we got to try to find $4 for a hotel. Ain't nobody outside gives up $4. Then we went to the uh, lunching mat trying to steal mad clothes. And we go, oh, that's stealing. Then we tried to ask the uh, convenience store guy to help a, help a sister out. He looked like he didn't want trying to help us, so this ain't our option. Best option, got to sleep in the car. So here we go. <laughs> That's got to be markets. Oh. That, that's dirty, man, how they did him, man. Alright, let's go. Let's see. Yeah, they damaged us. Yeah, they got us good, man. Okay, this is that guy. Dang. We're low. Come on. Let's see. Did we check you? Search it already. Hey, need one more. Uh. Oh, here, way over here. Jesus. Hey, did a broke me apart. Yes, we're working on that. Yeah, one. Come on, Marcus. You can do it. You can do it, man. You can do it. Come on, a little more. Hey, that works. We need that. Oh, come on, man. Get your leg. Let's see. Left. Come on. There you go. There you go. There you go. Take it. There you go. Now, let's get your other leg. I want. Oh. Oh, analyze. Shoot.
Hey, come on, man. You can do it, man. You ain't deserve that. Might be a good leg. Hey, that works. Let's get it. Perfect. Stand up. Stand up, Marcus. Stand up. All right. Uh, we're going to end the gameplay right here. And if you like the video, press the like button, press the subscribe button. And we will continue on the next time of. Detroit becomes human as Marcus trying to find his way out here after he's been set up by his son. Appreciate you guys. Thanks.